so excited. Oh my god. That is giving me some like Julian Calloway. This is honestly giving me Jordan Alexander too. <laughs> I'm Eric Damon. I'm the costume designer for HBO Max's Gossip Girl. We're here vintage shopping with Jordan Alexander, gonna find some amazing looks for Gossip Girl characters. Yes. <laughs> Should we go pull some things and start a little yeah, fitting room? I'm down. Awesome. Who might wear that in our series? Audrey. Aki. And also like a really incredibly cool piece. Yeah. Zoe loves the graphic tee. Monet. Very OB. Very Max. Kate would definitely wear this. Luna. Oh, she would. Yes, she would. <laughs> a reminder, it is fashion week, so accoutre accordingly. The characters are so defined that, like, I'm very aware. Like, when I see something, I'm like, oh, that's like, very that's Audrey. Oh, that's very, Audrey. you know? That's part of, like, what I get to bring to the table yeah. is kind of, like, figuring everybody out. What comes first? Is it like just in your mind or do you see something like a pattern or a piece of clothing that like inspires you? The genesis of it, especially for this uh, edition of Gossip Bro, was really like looking at Instagram and like yeah. looking to social media, which we did not. Like in the original Gossip Girl, I was like stalking the private schools with my Polaroid camera. <laughs> What was it like because obviously the OG Gossip Girls fashion had an immense impact on fashion as a whole. It was humbling. It was just incredible to see people like emulating these styles and wanting to be a Serena or a Blair. Do you miss anything from the early 2000s? A super low waisted jean with a thong hanging out, we can pass, but there's so many. <laughs> You're like, but can I we? Guess. This is life. This is a new realm of school uniform dressing. Playing with proportions in a whole new way. Something else we're doing, which is new, is like adding the varsity crest and the school letters to existing designer pieces. Can you back up a little more? Now show me the bag. <gasps> <gasps> Giving me some Monet vibes. Monet. Yeah. She loves her tweeds, she loves her Chanel. Fabulous old lady meets clueless, Upper East Side chic money. That is Monet. She almost destroyed your capucine. It'd take her a whole month's salary to replace it. Rayon gives me nosebleeds. Could you move? I'm seeing something very Luna. Like, I don't know if this is a top or a dress, but she would wear it as a dress. She's so sweet and soft-spoken, and her clothes are fun and in that direction, but then her character. Her character brings the bite. She so, bites hard. Yeah. Girl does not play. Does not play. We should have a new Zara rule at school. Zara, East of Black Summer. I saw this and I thought Aki. Aki. Functional fashion, but still mm -hmm. norm core. No, no, no. Not for me. Cesar Marjan was for everybody. Aki's a little bit kind of unsure of himself. Like yes. that's part of his character development and the clothes represent that. I, I don't like to stick out. Well, you already do, so. I love that you called this out for Max, because, mm -hmm. you know, this is a, a woman's shirt, but I think gender is dead as far as clothing is concerned. Yes. And I love that we're able to kind of cross these lines. Yeah, and just that freedom. What about that Dries jumpsuit you wore to the Palais de Tokyo show? Mm-mm. Hailey Bieber wore it to Erwan. Ugh, dead to me. There is some crossover with, like, Jordan and Julian. I don't think it would be styled in the same way, but like there's a piece where I would be like, oh yeah, I will yeah, wear that. that. What about this one? Oh, Julian? Yes, Julian. Right? Anything Joey, body, Joey, anything body, sheer, Joey, anything. Body, yachty, yes. yachty. <laughs> Julian is like so thought out. Monet and Luna are helping style her yeah. and everything is planned out. Whereas yeah. Zoya, so he's not dressing to project an image. No. She's doing it to say something social politically, yeah. or she's like wants to be comfortable. I don't know if it goes with a dress or whatever. But... It goes with everything. Thank you. This is something that could be in your dad's closet. Yeah. That you could rock out like. I actually here. could see that. Maybe we'll try that on over that bias that we were looking at earlier. Get a fitting going. Serving July in realness right now. <laughs> yes. Immediately, I'm just like, Julian. <laughs> yes. Could be your dad's shirt, hero boots. I think the only thing we're missing is these fantastic oh. nod to early aunts. Slay. Fashion phenomenon. Yeah, serving some streetwear 90s, early aughts. You know, just a casual day look. Mm. 
I love this. I think it's really fun. And I feel like it's almost verbatim something Jillian has worn. It is so. like identical. Serving some runway couture, ladies and gentlemen. This is Julian Calloway. We're yeah. giving me everything right now. The color, the cutout, the shape. I really especially love like the detail down here. Almost like crocodile print, but also sort of botanical fire, yes. as the kids say today. <laughs> We're so excited for you to see Gossip Girl, so make sure you check it out. It's all about the fashion. <laughs> Love you. Bye, Pooh.